Hello and welcome to, to some week 13 action here. We've got some week 13 Mazda going on. It is um, basically, well, it is basically the rookie Mazda. However, it is open setup. So we've got a Majors Garage Baseline setup in there from last season, or I guess this season, if we're still technically in um, <laughs> season two of 2022, but, um, I'm not entirely sure about the fuel. I think we're at 3.3 gallons should be good. I'll take a closer look for qualifying. I'm not going to change it for qualifying. Not that big of a deal, but, uh, Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully do an all right job jump. here. We are the number four. Hopefully everybody realizes that this is an official race. This does count towards I rating and safety rating and all that, even though it is week 13. Um, you would think the people and top split would realize that, but I've been baffled by less. <laughs> so. Uh, this corner is probably the biggest corner that gets me there, because even though that's not how I go through it, I'm kind of taking it easy on the outlap here since tires are really cold. Um, I can never quite figure out how hard to take that corner. I'm always afraid I'm going to overdrive it, and it seems like I underdrive it every time. So, <laughs> mm. are they still chatting? I don't mind if they chat, Green but flag, I was trying flag. to say words for myself there. <laughs> so, um, not the best run to the line there. Like I said, the tires are still pretty cold, so... <sighs> Doing my best. I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, no, I'll leave it on all-time best for now. Um, I think my all-time best lap was set with draft. <laughs> so, and, uh, well, also with warmer tires. So... I'm going to be well off of my all-time best here, so it's not going to be the best thing to compare to. So the next lap, I'm just going to compare it to this lap and see if I can improve on it. And in fact, I will do the session optimal so I can try to improve each corner if possible. So we'll see. Love the Mazda, always love driving the Mazda. Whether it's Production Car Challenge, Advanced oh, wow. Mazda, Rookie Mazdas I run every week. Very fun car to drive. P4. Like fun car to race? Well, I don't know, that depends on the people you're racing with now, doesn't it? Because sometimes they can be kind of... messy. <laughs> but I do enjoy flinging this thing around the track. And, uh, well, not too much to run on week 13, so I figure this will be one thing I upload. Even though I normally don't upload the rookie Mazda, I figure this is a little bit different since we got open setup. And, uh, like I said, limited options to race for now. Normally I don't do the rookie uploads because they go to the same tracks all the time. It's all the free tracks. Because rookie. <laughs> Just done a 102.40. The guy behind is just 1240, it said, was the leader's time. That was not my best effort in the final corner, but that should be a pretty okay time, I think. 107. Eh, that's fine. I can be content with that, with the cold tires. I'm generally not very good at managing cold tires. I get better as the tires get better, which everybody does, but. I don't handle the cold tires as well as other people seem to, I think. Uh. I just, I don't know how to take that corner. Obviously, you don't want to cut it that much. Cut too much there. Right, we'll stay out here and just run around a little bit so we're not just staring at a screen, staring at a timer counting down. Right now, P3, that's pretty good, especially as the 4. The 1 car is right now in 5th, though they could still be doing their other lap. 
which in which case they'll shoot to the front because I imagine the second lap is going to be faster for everybody. So we still have plenty of opportunity to fall down the ranks here, but I think we shouldn't fall too bad. Let me take a look at that fuel. Looks like we have plenty. I could probably even take out Uber. However, I don't see a reason to risk it if I need to. So I won't. I was looking at fuel instead of that corner. I'm bad at that corner, but not that bad. <laughs> I hope. We'll see. We've fallen one more spot. Is it the one car? No, it is the five car that has found themselves a place. We got some fast Oscars in here. <laughs> the number two and the number five. We are the only person from the United States in here. It is a early morning race. It is about 5.30 in the morning because what is time <laughs> for me? I don't even know. I'm going to go ahead and park it because we shouldn't have too much more time. Ugh, I guess we do. I guess I should have stayed out there. Oh, well. Uh, we got the 8, 16, and the 19 we're waiting on. It would appear that none of them are doing any laps. Maybe, unless they're out there right now. The 19 has been out there and crashed. I guess multiple times, because in order to get 4x, you would have to get either four off tracks or two wall hits or lost controls or... So they're not having a very good qualifying effort. Um, there they got a lap in though. They probably were having trouble on the out lap and they had to keep resetting. But they got a lap in there. They'd be surprised if they were able to jump all the way up here for us, but maybe they took it really easy on the first lap and... I don't know. About a minute and a half, if they don't choose to ready up. Don't think these guys are doing laps. 8 and a 16. Yeah, so we're probably just going to have to wait for them. It's only about a minute left anyway. But I'm hoping to be able to race a little bit more. I've been very busy, as my upload schedule <laughs> indicates. Very busy and very not racing. But I want to fix that because racing is fun. I will never fully go away because I enjoy being on here and it's really not too much extra effort to just turn the recording on and start talking about random stuff. Talk about my thoughts. So hope to continue on doing that. Ooh, what's this? Optimal shifting point. I don't know if I've ever noticed that in the notes. Not really too helpful. I mean, I kind of already knew that. Kind of want to just break, bring it all the way out to the limiter almost before you shift in this car. But interesting. I had to check those more. So it looks like we will be ruling off P4. I imagine it will be a standing start unless something went horribly wrong when they set up this series. <laughs> I don't see why they would not have a standing start here. Um, I imagine most people are probably going with the two gallons, but I will stay with three. And hopefully we will survive not only this first corner, but the rest of the race. It is ten minutes, if I remember correctly. Well, we'll just shoot for, I don't know, top ten or something. Nothing too crazy. A little out of practice because I haven't been racing as much, so... Gonna keep my expectations tempered. We do get a fast repair, which I will hopefully not have to use. We've got Mario in front of us. Or is it Luigi driving Mario's car, given the license plate? Well, it's actually Cory driving Luigi Mario's car. I don't know. <laughs> and we will be surrounded by Oscars. Both in first and in third. Pretty big field. You got 18, 19 people in here, looks like. That's more than a normal rookie race, I think, isn't it? Maybe not. I don't really pay attention to that, to be honest with you. But I will try not to spin out on the cold tires early on. I'm going to try to be 
gentle. Hopefully I will not be run over. We do have a Red Bull behind us. Infamous for being sketchy. And they're the 14. And they've clearly got speed. So that's usually a bad combination. We've got someone that's that doesn't have the eye rating matching up to their apparent speed. Because that means they... Well, they can qualify 5th, for example. They can't typically finish there. Which makes you wonder why, but... Could be that they're just fine. And I'm worried about nothing. Go, green flag, green flag. You got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. Mario Luigi Cory did not have a good jump. Right side. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. Car on your left. Red Bull's trying to run us over. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Oh, so loose. Left side. And these cold tires. Still it's there. killing me. Clear on the left. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Yikes. Get these tires warmed for me, please. I am scared. Ugh, oh, he's pushing up into me. He's all over the track, apparently. Lift it off early, so that way I'm over. I touched the grass. Uh, but what I he's doing, the he's the all over the track, man. Oh, where'd they go behind us? Oh my god, he's angry. <laughs> That was an angry Kobe. Why? Why? So something happened to the guy behind us. No idea what it was, but... Hopefully this 14 will be able to catch up to the couple of guys in front. Well, not if he's going to do that. We're not. I was going to say so I don't have to pass him and worry about being side by side and losing time to the guy in front, but... I'm concerned that he is not going to be keep able to keep up with them if he's that off pace. But I do really enjoy this space behind us we have all of a sudden. Hopefully that does not close up anymore. So it's kind of tough to pass here. Not really too many great passing areas. Fourteen seems to be right around our speed anyway. So I'm not too concerned about it. If anything, a little faster because I do have the benefit of having the draft, so... He is really struggling out of turn three. Or turn three, where did I even get that? Final turn. Ugh, he did not give us very much room there. I thought I had plenty of nose there, but he apparently did not think so. But we'll see if we can pull away from him despite draft. Maybe that was a little bit of a dive bomb. It looked like he was giving me the room, so I was going to go for it. And all of a sudden, it didn't look like he was giving me the room anymore. I need him to have a bad final corner again, so that way he can't get the run. I had a bad final corner. Not the worst, but certainly could have been better. 
You're back in 40 position. Mate. We like this. Keep doing it to P4. That last lap was a 103.02. Just gonna try to hit my marks. That was not a mark that I hit. It was kind of fast, actually. Definitely cut it too close to the inside, but it kind of worked. Weird. I definitely don't want to try it again because that seems like a good way to spin out. Okay, Colton. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. That's half distance. Fuel It'd be great to get in these guys' draft, but they're all drafting each other and pulling away like half a second every straightaway, so that's going to be hard to catch back up at this point. But it looks like we are faster than the 14. We are pulling away. It has helped that the tires have warmed up. And uh, I understand the car a little bit better. Well, hey, if I finish fourth like I'm supposed to, I will be very happy with that. You will hear no complaints from me. Thank you, Ginger. No problem. Some great iRacing names, man. That guy's name is Ginger. That's a cool name. I don't think I've ever heard that as a name. Maybe it's a nickname. Maybe that's what it is. But I don't know. There's some cool iRacing names, man. Anyway, they are continu continuing to pull away in front. As they have all the draft in the world. I overdrive final corner and it kills my run off. Just kind of trying to get as much as I can. Sectors two and three are a tenth off the pace. Sector one is zero point two five off the pace. I just I don't think there's any way I can catch them if they've got if they're gaining time every straightaway the way they are. Plus they're you know kind of fast. For example, <laughs> believe it or not, they're probably pretty darn fast being the two, three, and five. So, hey, I finally took that corner actually somewhat decent. Sort of. Just gained a little bit on them there. But look, there it goes. There's like two tenths I've lost because of draft. I'm gonna come around that corner. Probably gonna gain a little bit more. Yeah. That stinks. You just you can't lose the draft. Yeah, that's what I'm learning. Um and these higher level monster races, the higher strength of field. All good, all good for now. The draft is just so strong in this car for whatever reason. So fun to drive though. Okay, I'm kind of getting the feel for that a little Just bit better. Two left. Two minutes to go. Driving in hard. Get it turned. And we lost time that time. <laughs> I've been checking out of that corner for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, we lost, uh, we lost a couple tenths. That lap, so. I'll keep moving forward. They could still wreck each other or something crazy. Before this one wraps up. Never know. You've just done a 102.83. Go drive that a little bit. It's <clears throat> my mark again. I'm just trying to get too much. I want to join the fun party up there, but I just can't. <laughs> yeah, the couple of mistakes I made lost me a couple more tenths. Catch me on the right. 
So it's probably coming down to the end of it here. Yeah, look at that. I knew it. See, you didn't believe me, but I was right. <laughs> it's a white flag. So they're going to wreck each other. They got to do it now. Oof. Not expecting though. I think my tires might actually be anymore, and it doesn't feel as grippy anymore. I say, even though I'm just overdriving it and making excuses for the reason I'm overdriving it. I'm just having fun at this point because we got no one near us in front and no one near us behind. They're not even really close enough to each other to start wrecking. wreck myself though getting on that rumble strip I knew to be easy on the throttle though if I had smashed a throttle right there I would have spawned but I knew I was getting on the rumble strip and couldn't do that and that's why I did not spin hooray for not spinning but also hooray for getting fourth as the four oh wasn't wasn't my mic hooked up that's the end of the race ticket flag, ticket flag. that's weird I gotta set up my mic again, apparently. Nice it's gonna say good race, good win. Work. Hmm. Weird. Lower in a nice, safe area. They're probably already gone, but I'll still say it in chat. Good race, good win. I uh, had all caps on. <laughs> it's an abbreviation. I'm not yelling. It's just an abbreviation. So we have lots of fuel left in it, I think. <laughs> He's screaming it. I'm a little rusty, all right. That that extends to uh, other things. Disconnected. Uh, how about we don't disconnected? Please tell me this means that. Okay. I hope this recorded then. Oh Jesus. Well, I'm going to keep continuing as if it is recording, and we will check out the incidents that you are definitely hearing me talk about. So, start. Mario, Luigi, Cory didn't get very much of a jump, but didn't really matter in the end. The man named Ginger gets hit by a Red Bull car, so it apparently wasn't the Red Bull guy that we were around to worry about, it was this one. And, well, netcode actually kind of made that a problem. I don't know if they were going to actually hit. But that really stinks, because they really didn't do anything wrong. Still lap one, still get everyone on top of each other. Not much going on there. That's just a blink. Oh, that's what happened to the guy behind us. The number one, too. I forgot he was the number one. So, me and this guy both overdrove it. And this guy was fine. I didn't cut in front of him or anything, so it's not like he was checking up for me. If anything, he was going to get on my inside and might have been a problem. But this guy just runs him over. He just straight up runs him over. And then it's a huge mess back here. That is not what you want to see whenever you're coming around this corner. This guy makes it through clean and oh boy. Oh my gosh, is that Gavin? No. <laughs> and Dr. Pepper. Oh, uh, not Diet Dr. Pepper though, so that's how you know. <laughs> anyway, we got ourselves a junkyard. Oh god, they're all stuck together. It's disgusting. Get that out of my face. All right. <laughs> Lap 8, that's a big jump in time. Apparently it was pretty clean from then on, after everyone died in that wreck. And that's just a light rear ending. And that's it, that's the end of the race. I feel like there was probably more out there, but... Instead all we got is the mystery machine doing drift. We're on the corner here. It's actual Tokyo Drift because we're in Japan. Sakuba. Except it's in, uh, not Tokyo, <laughs> so... <laughs> well, actually, not too messy after the first couple laps there. We get ourselves a fourth position, finish right where we started. Um, 
most exciting thing that happened was passing this guy. Maybe I'll take a look and see if I should be mad at myself for diving in on him. I wasn't quite there, but look how wide open he left it. Like, you can't just dangle the stake in front of the lion, you know? And it's not like I was super far back, and he did just mess up the final corner. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm a villain, but just a minor villain. I didn't think it was so bad. And then he starts, like, turning in like I'm not there. I didn't hit him. And, uh, I, after I passed him, I showed that I was faster than he was and pulled away despite draft, so. Okay, maybe I wouldn't do that that way in the future, but. I don't know. I thought I had enough of a run to get alongside him before I got to the corner because of the way he messed up. And so I thought like, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll be entering the corner alongside him. And it just wasn't quite there. So a little aggressive, more aggressive than I would want to be normally. But I mean, that's kind of how like 99.9% .9 of the people in this series race anyway. So Plus, didn't he, like, dive in on me? I don't know. I feel like I'm over trying to justify this, but I don't know. I'm just thinking about it. How did he end up alongside me in the first place? Oh, yeah, I made a mistake. I made a pretty bad mistake there. Because of the darn cold tires make me slide everywhere. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I kind of remembered. He kind of just cut me off. I had to slam on my brakes for him. So he almost turned himself on me, because he really chopped me, so, I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I'm the, I'm the last one in here, because I'm here talking to myself. But uh, zero x finish where we start, finish where we're supposed to, and uh, have a pretty fun race. That was pretty good. I liked it. So, I hope you enjoyed some week 13 Mazda, and uh, hopefully I'll be back with some, uh, you know, some be open at Chicagoland. That looks pretty fun. I think the trucks are at Sonoma. I hope I'll get the chance to do those this week, and I hope to see you there. Have a good one.